It is a tale of two business models, big box stores open and drawing crowds, small family-owned businesses deemed non-essential and mandated to stay closed. And I cannot be trusted to open my door to one client at a time? Why are our politicians favoring the chain stores? This from Simka Minkowitz has been viewed many thousands of times on social media. She and her husband own a jewelry store in Borough Park, which they dutifully closed right before the busy Passover season. It was devastating and we did it with love. We closed our doors with love because we knew we had to. As the lockdown has dragged on, Minkowitz has come to believe she can safely reopen, sanitizing every surface and allowing only one or two customers inside at a time. I think I'd be able to sanitize my space better than a large Target, let's say, or a large Costco. With six children, she has every incentive to be careful. She believes it's time to let people assess their own tolerance for risk and shop accordingly. I know that I can go out of my house and I can make that choice. And if someone is afraid, that's their choice also. And they could stay home and they could be home. And I, honestly, I tell my parents to stay home and my in-laws to stay home because they're above a certain age and I want them to be safe. She fears what the economic future holds. The Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce estimates 20,000 small businesses may not survive the pandemic, may never reopen their doors. There's going to be trauma that people are going to carry for many years from this. A PPP loan helped with two months rent, but the day is rapidly approaching when they'll have to decide how much longer they can hold on. In Borough Park, Tony Aiello, CBS2 News.